Okay, I thought I'd do some more examples of the cross product because uh, usually, unlike the dot product where we need just a, you know, a little reminder, the cross product isn't usually as familiar. So here we go. I have two vectors, and I use the IJK notation for them. And I even went as far as to go ahead and set up the determinant matrix. So um, let's go ahead and compute this thing. So what I do, like I showed you in the last video, is I like to draw my boxes first. Okay, remember the second box is always negative. Okay. And then I do my, my uh, IJK thing. Okay. Um, so remember... You know, the, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I'm just going to take something and cover it up. And it, trust me, oops, covering up is the way to go. That way you don't get in, confused at all. So I got negative 2, negative 2. And I got 4, negative 1. Okay, I'm going to cover up that one. That works. So I've got negative 8, negative 2. I've got two negative one. Okay, I can you I can go back to the old ruler on this one. So I got negative eight, negative two. Hmm. Have to be careful. All right. And I think we are pretty comfy now, right? We just go. We do the product of this minus product of that product of this minus product of that so let's just start firing away okay we got we got negative 2 times negative 1 is just 2 minus negative 8 is plus 8 okay then I've got negative 8 times negative 1 that's a positive 8 minus negative 4 minus negative 4 is plus 4 plus well, we got negative 32 minus negative 2, so that's plus, or minus negative 4, so that's plus 4. Okay. Oh my god, I did the whole thing without putting it on the screen. Alright, you see it now. Okay, so we got that. So next thing I'm going to do is simplify it. Minus 12j. Sorry about not putting that on the screen. I wasn't paying attention. What else is new? Okay, so here is our resultant vector. And remember from the pencils, um, let's say let's say that this was U and this was W. This is our new guy right there, coming out there like that, okay? Um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cross them the exact opposite other way around. So let's um, let's go. I'm just going to write W cross U. I'm going to put my IJK stuff up here. My IJK business business. All right, I'm an idiot. 2, 4, negative 1, then we got what? Negative 8, negative 2, negative 2. Okay, it's very sloppy. Very sloppy. So let's just cross them again and see what happens. So I'm going to uh, back to my IJK business. Okay, so. Uh, and it's a uh, just another day at the office. Oops. Let's see if I can uh, do this one without going overboard on the uh, paper. Okay. By the way, I recycle all my paper. It goes to a special place at the university. And. Okay, did I get it right? Looks like I did. Let's hope, right? Okay, so here we got just about everything uh, I think we need. So let's just go ahead and start uh, start destructing this thing. So what do we get? Negative 8. Um, minus positive 2. Okay. 
Um, then we looks like we got negative four minus regular eight because we had a we had a we had a negative times a negative was a positive, so we subtracted it. And look, we got negative four minus negative thirty-two, so that's plus thirty-two. Okay, so what do we get here? We get negative ten i. That's uh that's negative twelve times another negative when we put it back in there. So that's a uh, plus twelve. And then what do we got here? We got positive twenty-eight. Okay. Now let's bring the other one over here. Okay, this is the one we just did. Notice how this one is exactly pointing, it's pointing the exact opposite of this one we just did, okay? And see, first it was U cross W, and then we did W cross U, okay? So if you reverse these things, okay, unlike mul most multiplication, you know, like six times five is 30, five times six is also 30, well, it's not true in the dot product world or it is true in the dot product world, it's not true in the cross product world, so um, just be careful, because um, like every now and then I'll be taking a cross product and I'll dot them instead, and then I'll, I'll try to dot them and I'll cross them, you know? Um, I think it's more easy to dot them instead of cross them because it takes more effort to uh, cross them. So just, just, just uh, be kind of keen on that. But I think it's kind of interesting how we can get a basically a vector that points up or a vector that points down. So back to my pencil example, you know, here was the first one, here was the second one, okay? So I yeah, like that. So um, we're, next um, we're gonna we're gonna do some applications. We're gonna find some areas which will just basically get you in the hand in the uh, in the mood for you know working with these things a little better and then uh, the best thing about these uh, cross products is we can use them to actually do some work um, and torque is a big one so we'll calculate some torque later on too okay thanks for watching my videos